My name is Gwen Roberts and I'm the founder of Horses for Hope. Horses for Hope is a therapeutic riding center for special needs kids and adults and underprivileged kids and adults that couldn't ordinarily do something like horseback riding. My mother had multiple sclerosis, so I grew up in a family that had a special needs person and I, my parents had us with uh, horses for years and years and years and my mom always went to the horse shows with us. I grew up on horses and I never knew anything about therapeutic riding until after my mom passed away. I was doing some research on the internet to see how I could use horses to help people and I stumbled across a website where these people used horses to help um, troubled teens which is an area that we want to expand into. But I also ran across therapeutic riding, which um, I didn't know it had existed, but it's been around for a long, long time. And I read that it could help people with MS, which I wish I knew about it before, because we probably would have had mom on one of those horses all those years that she watched us ride. 2003, we organized. Um, we didn't start serving until 2004. My goal was to keep it um, free for as long as I can keep it free and hopefully that'll be at least my whole living life running it. Fundraising was very difficult. Um, we couldn't figure out a way to keep regular funds rolling in to keep the horses supported. So we decided to start doing lessons, you know, paid lessons for the able-bodied kids. And then the idea came and said, hey, you know, let's continue that. We'll grow that side of the program while we're growing the other side of the program. But we still need the funds coming in to help grow the organization. As you can see here, you know, we've got a lot of temporary buildings. We're on leased property. Uh, we would like to own our own property one day and have a nice barn and a nice facility um, so that we can serve kids year round. Our lease will be up in 10 years and we need to find new property. We are looking for something in the neighborhood of between 60 and 100 acres or more. If we can find something, preferably uh, if they could get some donated property or somebody who would do owner financing for us. Um, we do want to build a really nice facility and we want to make it a haven for the special needs public to where when they come to do therapeutic riding, we want to have like a full kitchen, we're going to have a clubhouse, we're going to have all kinds of other things um, available for them. There's just so much we've got planned. Uh, we just need a facility to make it happen in. Well, it means everything. It's kind of my, I've poured my life into it. Um, I have uh, sacrificed a lot. Um, but my, it's just, I want to help people. And that's really all it boils down to. want to help people using horses. And I've put my all into it, and I'm going to continue to put my all into it. The smiles and seeing the, um, the just the progress that, that these horses are doing to the, with these kids, helping them, and just seeing that and the other kids, the emotional changes they have, and hearing the testimonies of the parents, that's what's the most rewarding to me.